Well, Chief, I got something to show you. Ta-da! A <laughs> real beaut, isn't it? Since that night, Chief, Melround didn't even set eyes on it. While he was dealing with the Golem, I sneaked past them, and that was that. Oof, that cuts me deep, Chief. You and I saw who the traitor was. It's just that when we robbed the shop, I went in first and took what I wanted. Nothing wrong with that. Although, of course, I did think about hiding the moon and just taking myself off somewhere warm when all this blows over, but only because I want to see the world. Is it a crime to want to travel, huh? Is that what counts for treachery these days? <laughs> Thieves have their ways. Psst, what? So she would slay me right away, you mean? You saw how antsy she was over Canabras and all this. So I did it. I took the Moon of the Abyss. But I didn't go to Erebeth, and Big Sister wouldn't hear my explanations. She doesn't have the time. I even thought I'd hide the Moon somewhere, and then when all the noise had died down, I'd go get it and make a run for it. I'm sick of the Thieflings. And they never appreciated me anyway. <laughs> Why, she asks. It's expensive. Pretty. And you know, it's my amulet, actually. Not meaning I stole it, but... I, I mean, this is my inheritance. My grandma and I were poor. All we had was a jewelry box with the moon in it. She used to store it under the floor in the basement, and she'd take it out sometimes just to look at it. <laughs> she was always nicer when she had a few drinks in her, so I could ask her things then. One time I asked where she got it from, and she said it was from a demon. You know, the demon who was my grandfather. He said the moon was to be passed down. My ma was good for nothing and nobody, so that's why grandma decided to keep the amulet for me. She used to say it would be mine when I grew up. But she couldn't wait until I grew up. She squandered my inheritance when she became a drunk. Took it to Fileman's shop and pawned it. He gave her some coppers for it and she didn't even haggle. Just grabbed them and ran back to the tavern before last orders. I've been going to Fileman's to look at the moon ever since I was a kid. He chased me away, but I just kept going back, so eventually he gave up. He didn't skimp on security. The place was like a fortress, so he wasn't worried about a street rat like me pinching anything. Even when I got more skilled, I couldn't get any closer to it. One day, I had no one to go with. Another day, there were only oafs who'd never stolen anything more than a church donation box. But when Karisme had planned everything out, I realized I had a chance to get the moon and move away from here. Maybe to Garand. I, I hear it's warmer there. I've stayed with the family for too long. Allies, friends, it's all a load of crap. Life brings us together, forces us to make plans, do whatever it is we do, but it's a safe bet that this ain't forever. I might be a traitor, but the others, well, are they any better than me? Melround had a good reputation in the family. He was trusted, and you see what happened. If you abide by the law, anyone can rob you. So you need to break the law first when no one expects it, and run before you go soft and get too attached. Whatever you think, I owe you. I'm not just a thief, I have my own business selling things. Thanks to you, I'm still in the family, and they, well, I, I mean, we have the black market sewn up in this city. It's a good way to sell valuables. So, if you need anything, a scroll or something, just say the word. I have a little portal to our people in Erosian. You put a note there, and you get what you need. I can't get you anything big, but what they do have is all high quality. Nothing's too good for you, Chief. What's mine is yours. For a price, of course.
cheer you on from over there. Endure this! Aim carefully. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Every strike count. Retreat already? You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Distract them for me.
stab their backs. You won't survive me. Time to share your treasures! Endure this! your blood. No glory without risk! Cover me, alright? Count. Time oh, to rob them that? of their treasures. Stab you or zap you? Why not both?
Careful, everyone. You won't survive me. treasures. me all right make every strike count Cross the wrong mongrel. The inheritor, guide my blade. Your blood! Choose 
Well, that happened. Tread lightly. Just don't blame me. Pretty good, aren't I? I'm gone. Another obstacle. Make every strike count. Distract them from me. Call me again. 
can if you need to. Aha! Uh -huh. Follow my steps. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Time to share your treasures. Survive me. Stab their backs. Cover me, all right? Endure this! I'll loot your corpse. Stab yours after you, why not both? Let's head out. Might be trap, might be treasure.
Make every strike count. them for me. Your death awaits. Survive me. Make every strike count. You've 
across the wrong mongrel. Oh! shall not fail. The spell eludes me. The spell eludes me. Tread lightly. Well, this didn't go... well. My instincts dull when I'm tired. treasures.
The spirits demand your blood. The Inheritor, guide my blade. Tactical retreat. No. Endure this. Cover me, all right? Stab their backs. I feel faint. A solid plan. one was beyond me. I'm gone.
for their hearts! No glory without risk! Yes. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Oh! Ah, it's tea. I'll just sit here. Don't worry about me. Survive me. I'll cut you wide open. Your corpse. Distract them for me. I'm all right. I'm all right. Endure this. This is my kind of work. I will help where I can. We will win this war.
Let's head out. Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, girl. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them! Just an audience, they don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. That is correct. But still, girl, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. None of your answers were correct. The correct answer is an Aurox. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it, she's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? B A F A. Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks! Grab her and tie her up! And her entire entourage, too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. You can handle them, right?
Make every strike count. The Inheritor, guide my blade! Your death awaits. to share your treasures. The spirits demand your blood. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, girl? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomide prefer? This answer is correct. It is comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabras today. Let's proceed. Did Aradin take part in any crusade before he died? is correct. Aradin's death dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the world wound was opened. The first crusade started back in 4622. Your knowledge would make Mendev's crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arilu Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border inquisitor of the shapeless abyss? That's correct! Most excellent! You successfully answered all of my questions! Splendid! Amazing! This is a breakthrough! This... Oh, I thank you for your cooperation. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great Encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. And I must admit that you pass the test with flying colors. This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of Crusade. I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It pleases me to see that I was correct. Yes. I apologize for an injury to your ego, but your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To avoid unnecessary confusion, I'd prefer to not know it at all. Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the world wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. 
Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Huh? What? Oh, yes, the dangers and these battles. Of course, I will follow your orders. I place my life in your capable hands, so I can focus on the things that really matter. Excellent, you're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. You require my unbiased opinion? Yes, what? 